Hi everyone, my name is Iran. I worked as a UI design team manager at Lenovo in Shanghai before I came to SCAD. That sounds like a nice job, but why did you quit your job and come here? Because I wanted to explore a different colorful world and learn more about what design management is. Cool. So, what exactly is design management? Officially, design management is a program that prepares professionals to lead organizations and constituents in the process of design-driven innovation, thinking, and value creation. In my view, design management encompasses the assembly of a team with the necessary expertise to facilitate creative thinking, complete relevant research, and development strategy to achieve effective design all the way through to the step-by-step -step instructions for the delivery of the desired product or service. But what do you do as a design manager? We do a lot of research, observation, surveys, interviews, analysis, strategy planning, and process management. That sounds boring. Definitely not. A great design idea is interesting and needs a logical and methodological framework to make the idea become a successful product. Sometimes, it even means coming up with the original idea, taking it from concept for all the way to the market. Yes. Okay. Then what? Before we even have an idea, we uncover problem we want to solve, and we need to explore what the challenges will be in trying to find a solution. Problem solving and reframing. In this course, we got a problem called drive-through experience. We looked at a real-life business problem that many people experience every day. It wasn't hard to find out what was bothering people. Everyone had something to say about the terrible speakers, the unfriendly employees, and long wait and mistakes under others. And we talked to employees too, not just customers. And everyone had something to say about the experience. And even some people had ideas about how to make it better. Then we spent some time brainstorming about the driving through lanes. Finally, we came up with several concepts to solve the problem. Next, a very important session in design management process, which is research and analysis. For this project, we looked at the way food is handled. Since wasting food is not only the loss of food, it requires disposal of the waste, which is a whole separate problem. This is a matrix we use for all kinds of research, as it is flexible and comprehensive. The trip to the wine factory was fun, but we had to ask a lot of questions before we sampled the merchandise to make sure we could record the answers before we got done. Having our questions in picture form made it easier for us to answer them. Here is a soap maker we interviewed. Asking questions is important, but creating the right questions is even more important. Because people are busy to do not want to waste time on an interview that is not well prepared. There are different models we can use to assemble and understand our data. These are examples of the tools we employ for this analysis. Getting out into the field to explore the way things relate to each other helps us to understand what we see and how we think. Everything is connected. We decided to think about a way to use the waste materials to avoid sending everything to the landfill. Then I need a better visual representation to show what my idea is and what it look like. Visualize your idea. I figure if I can make as a design manager, I can go into start drawing cartoons for the Shanghai Press. Here is the video project I made with two classmates about a real problem, which is sugar. It includes real suggestions about how to solve it. Now I need to know some business things. Financial performance. We created hypothetically a coffee shop called Zero Gallery Coffee Shop in Savannah. We needed to find out about who used the coffee shop and galleries, since we serve not just the consumers but the artists as well. 
so we did a little research to make our combined business a success. The only way to get people to love us is to get them to try us. A lot of our target audience will be students and artists, so a little financial encouragement will help. So we are going to be sending out coupons to everyone we can think of. The importance of keeping accurate record of expenses, earnings, and their relationship to the work we are doing cannot be overstated. Boring and difficult as it is, without knowing how we are doing, we risk losing the business. Okay, I've learned many things by now. It seems like the time to create my own business. Business model canvas. Wow. We started with a mind map, putting down on paper every aspect of the plan for business we could think of. We end up choosing the maker movement. More and more people actually are getting involved in making things themselves as an alternative to the machine-made life. Creating a timeline is very helpful and moving forward. We have now looked at the specifics of our business, so we have been able to refine the structure and more sharply define our objectives and our direction. We all know the value of what is good, what is when we differentiate ourselves, that we can break out of the mold. That is why good and different is the optimal choice. Facial depiction like this one can help us understand our goals. Here is a board where we looked at our competitors and analyzed their practice and results, information which became useful in starting our own place. Here it is, our business covers. Here is a prototype for an actual building for all kinds of makers to share workshop space, enabling them to share ideas and technical as well. Allowing all the working collaborators to benefit from meeting and working with each other in the same creative space. Wow, the design management looks so cool. Yep, even with all of the knowledge I've learned, it's like putting the pieces of puzzle together. If you are missing even just one of them, you will never finish the project.